financially stable than he was so most of the bills i was fitting the bills most of the times and we lived like that until 2020 all my four kids i had them through cs i was one fitting the building i was one living like that so until 2020 he got a good a, a good job so he we agreed on we agreed on the job total amount of the job was about two hundred thousand. So we agreed that on monthly basis he will be given to the house. That was after our fourth baby, one fifty. Then he should keep fifty thousand naira to himself. So that was what was what was happening till May twenty twenty one. Now uh, on the fourth of May twenty twenty one, I was asking him, uh, "Have you not received salary?" He said he has received. I said, "Okay, that uh, you've not sent the one you're supposed to send to me." And that told me that I should forget it. If that is the case, that it's not sending me anything. And I said, what about what well, compose yourself as people? Okay, sorry. So I was like, why? He said he wanted, he got another job that he was to resume that bit. So he said that he wanted to use it to get clothes for himself and repair his car, put an AC, AC on, on his car. That because of that, he's not going to give me money for upkeep and stuff like that. So and I was like, our baby was just six months. And then the other one told that baby was it was two years plus. And the one that is two years is has been a consigned child. So we are always off and on hospital. So and those bills have always been done by me. So that consigned child was there. My baby was still on that. In short, the two of them then were on diapers. So I was like, how can you decide to go and buy clothes without thinking of the feeding of the children or their series or anything? So, so I said, okay, I refuse that. That won't happen. My mom was in the house then, so my mom intervened. I said, okay, she should bring a hundred instead of the 150 and keep hundred for himself. He refused. And that period too, I had issues in my office. So in the office, we are on suspension. So he knew definitely I had no money that period. So I was like, how can you decide a time like this to uh thank for your uh, decide to be this selfish neglecting me and the kids so at the end of the day he still did not budge so because i had to report to office because i was on suspension i left that matter like that and i went to work so on coming at uh, two hours to my living to work my mom called me that he has left the house so that was how he left the house. House was in the house yes so my mom said that he left the house and that was it so I called him, he told me that he would shock me, that he has told me that he was done with the marriage and that was it. So I said, okay, if you are done with the marriage, what about the kids? We have four children. Then my daughter was seven, the other one was four, the other baby was two, and I have a six months old baby. So what happens to them? He, he will mock me and say that I was a superwoman. So I should continue taking care. So I said, okay. Meanwhile, before he left the house, we were given a quick notice. So I didn't know about the quick notice. He went and signed consent to that quick notice that we will leave. So at the expiration of the time they gave to us, 
that I will leave. He signed the consent and he did tell me about it and submitted it to the landlady. So when I was gathering rent for the renewal of our house rent, when the woman now told me that she was not collecting rent, that we have already signed consent to leave her house. I said, where, how? He now brought it out and showed me that my husband signed consent to leaving the house. So meaning that he has, it has been a premeditated uh, act. He has had it all coming, all this while. So I had to call him. I said, why? If you do this, where do you think I will take four kids to? So he told me, he mocked me that day and said, Sure, you're a, a superwoman. Go ahead and do whatever you like. I said, okay. The next time, my children's school, they increased their school fees. Because while we were married for those eight years, I was the one paying my children's fee. I was the one paying the house rents. I was the one paying my children's medicals. Welfare, everything was on me. So, and I told him, since you left, okay, now give me the uh, added money to this um, school fees. Let me continue paying what I paid before. Just that extra uh, money that they added, just pay that one. Let me continue. So it will be like the normal way I pay the fees. It, it mocks me. So I even had to call his friend. I told his friend that tell your friend to add up the balance for me. So the friend said he wasn't bulging. So at that, at that point, I started looking for accommodation for myself. And that was how I moved out from that Ajawa estate. Then we were in Ajawa estate. I had to leave Ajawa estate because it was too expensive for me. Then I started looking for a house and I got an accommodation in Itimu. So that's where I now put my children in another school that they are attending to now. So that's how it's been. He doesn't contact us, he has never called. All the while, I went through people to seek for reconciliation, but it wasn't bulging. So at the end of the day, I let it be. So this year, about last month, uh, my, he called my daughter through my brother-in-law's phone. And then I, when I did a video call with my daughter. I was showing my daughter the, his apartment, PS game he has bought for them, phones he has bought for them, his new car, his everything. He was just enticing her and told her that she would love, love to come and stay with her, with him. And my daughter said yes you know children she's just eight she said yes and then i told my daughter not to tell me and my daughter has his number of heart so my mom because it was my brother-in-law's phone my mom my, they were there so when we asked my daughter for the school my daughter my mom they were telling her not to say so she didn't say the name of their school or where we reside so when my my mom waited for one week my daughter didn't tell me so my mom now told me so when my mom told me, I asked my daughter why. She said that daddy said she shouldn't tell me. So I said, okay. So that became a pointer to me that I could go to work and he will come and pick them. So I had to go to their school and tell the school management not to allow him pick my kids. So at the end of the day, I still got to hear that he's doing fine now. So I, I, I looked at it. Why so far? All these things on my own, four children. They bear his name. I have three daughters and a son for him. They bear his name. They are his children. So I want him to come and take responsibility of his children. I want him to take care of their welfare. I want him to take care of their, their school fees. And I want him to take care of their upkeep. That's why I came here. And I believe that I will get justice for myself and my kids here. I said they communicate with the kids. No, often. No, he doesn't communicate with them. Since he left a year plus, the very first time he spoke with my daughter was that day. He talked to her about it, taking them away from me. And your daughter still recognized from her Yes, she does. She does. There were no issues relating to the move he made that time to this moment. There were no correlating arguments. We had issues. He refused to bring, that's why like I started, he refused to pay the agreed amount because he was to give us 150 for the upkeep of the home. He refused bringing it down once. 200. So why should we give such conditions? So, 
He was to give you 150. Yes. And take 50,000. Yes. What? The 150, well, the 150 is covering rent and school fee and everything. The 150 was to cover rent, everything. And we had, like I told you, we had a concerned child that will go to hospital at least twice every month. That's my third baby. Because such condition is enough for a man to run to house. You are any uh, 200,000. And is to part towards uh, to the one hundred fifty thousand and keep fifty thousand to himself. Consider that he's the one working the money out. Yeah, so no fighting, no quarreling. No so fighting. No. The reason is still hidden from the angle of the man. Let's hear from him. To inform this and the sender of this case, I, I sent a message to you. But the one is going to do is the very thing he has sent to the people. He was permanently before he left. He worked with the Ministry of Energy as a Ministry of Ministry of Power and Energy as a Power and Energy. Is a government sector, better state. Oh, he is a business person. He's a businessman. He sells and install uh, ACs and humidifiers. What is it? Installation, sales and installation of ACs okay, and the humidifiers. Yes, air conditioners. Understand. If you want to comply, the fact that they are saying to my daughter, so it's not to Like, let me be honest with you. Yes. That day when I came, I was very skeptical of him responding. Because before I came this far, I've done every measure to uh, uh, ensure I have a. Uh, in the way, it's legal. I don't know. There are certain things you will not see on. You are still on. 
My daughter, we came, my sister had a baby. So that October 1st holiday was, was held on Monday, that's October 4th. So when we went to church, we came to my sister's house. My daughter had said she wasn't going and she wants to pass the night there, so I left her. So it was that day, I think he got, I don't know whether it was him that called my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law called him, I don't know. But he got to know that my daughter was in my brother-in-law's house. So that was how I got access to talk to her. Well, if you ask, how do you know the talk? If all cases are embraced on the consent of the good independence and the competence. So we're taking her statement here OJ because that is what she actually signed for. So you have to deal with her and if there is any alternative to that today, we'll let you know much later. But let me go through the comments section. Okay, John Amadi is a we please see her face? And that is what I've just addressed. She signed for audio uh, from the onset. And she signed for audio of this case. Okay, it's like you have to learn of hearing your voice that you know what you do know. John Amadi, thank you. <laughs> Your guy is fine. Stephanie, thank you. I feel like if a person is a saint on a face like this, he or she should be able to show this on her face on camera. Okay, that is a let me take the box. Akawa Chidiadi, thank you. How did you go? Please tell me what is this. I'm getting angry already. My mom was so mad in man that she was in the But she would be the one to fix the gifts. You were just trying to answer this and you were hoping with this. If food you do for it is what is it and we show you okay. My Rama, God bless you too. Pretty Joyce, what have I done again? You said I should be coming now. What have I done? What is the case? and keep 50 k for yourself. That is too much money. And that is what the secret joy said. You don't want it to keep it. This is the doctor has another one of my company. and some mouse they share. This is a good Let's hear. If the man has not responded, we will likely draw the, the number from here when he is after we decide. Porsche midwife, thank you very much. Thank you. 
Cynthia said for you to be mindful of the takers and chat with two red and in the skills is not fair. Never be left with one shoe to my sisters. I'm getting the mom of the two two. Frustrated being one to be at all. May I see about giving at all? Yes, yes. It was given? Yes. Like how many times? Like four, four, five times. Four, five he times. left me. So from it was from January. It was from January. Yes. He was giving the one fifty thousand. Yes. For like five months. Yes. I wouldn't lie. I think uh, you know someone should do that. That should be your sister. Ma, let me explain. Yeah. When I said one fifty thousand, mm. eh, that covers for everything in the house. We we do utilities. Because okay, what, so how much were you contributing? My whole salary. Eh? My salary was two hundred plus. Your salary was two hundred plus. Yes. His own salary was two hundred. Yes. So you brought you do bring two hundred thousand. Exactly. Are you people not living above your means? It's too the, the tension is much now. Wait that man up. Wait, uh, So what we much. do, what we do is that we have a common cost as in a drawer, that's where we keep money. So from there, that's where we put the bills in the house. It is good for for partners to plan. Then that is that is just too much. You are earning two hundred thousand. You said the, the whole two hundred thousand was going in. Yes. Then it's earning two hundred thousand. It's one hundred and fifty thousand is going in. How? So yes. you are any both of you are earning four hundred and fifty thousand, and none of you could think okay. What is that that take much of the of the of the spending? Is it the kids? Is it hard rent? What is it that take much of the money? The education and rent. Okay, now you've moved out of Ajao Estate to where the rent is lesser. Yes. So as a woman, you should learn to plan with your husband. No, but I moved out other. after he left. That is what I'm saying. That is messing after death. You are not being smart or being wise enough. You are living in a place where the whole of your salary was going, no savings. You are not, both of you are not even planning. Let us be removing some money, saving for land where we can build our, 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 our apartment. You are not thinking, okay, I was any 200,000, 250, you are any 200,000. Let's move to a lesser apartment of 200,000. Okay, you moved after he left us, after he must have moved. And that is when both of you are supposed to think. If you can think that you have to move, then that is when you should have think, have the same thoughts of planning with him. How can you plan with the man to finish everything both of you are earning for education and school and house rent? House rent that is not that is a project that both of you are building and a building. You are just collecting your salary, is collecting your salary, you pay full house rent because you want to live in a Jawa estate, then you pay the rest for school fees, so no more savings, you'll be left with 50,000. Then you check off how much fuel he buys in a month. That fuel is still in that thing, in the money we are bringing out. With fuel. Don't get to them, Sorry, sorry. ma'am. The fuel. Fuel of what? Generator or being car fuel? Car fuel. I'm talking car fuel. Yes. He will give it to you. You are, it, will be the one giving no, money. No, we don't give it. money. I said we leave money in the drawer. We take expenses from there. That's what I'm saying. It's too much. I've not heard from the man. We need to hear from the man. That's what I'm telling you. Because utilities, we pay utilities. We, my children, their cereals, everything, everything that will just run in the house. That's just what it is. I would like to you. I've not heard from them, but I see what to let you understand. 
you may contribute the reason why the man run away and let the children to take the responsibility. So if you cannot plan, if you don't know how to, if you don't learn how to plan, then you plan how to learn. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. just wake up suddenly. Suddenly, and leave After four children, three that girls, one be, boy, yes, and you are having them through CS. Yes. It's too much on him. You know, some men, some men or women don't, they don't, they, they don't, don't talk. talk. Yes. It's good for those that, the ones that can speak out. Mm, if you are married to a partner that doesn't, can't express their feelings or hardly talk. Okay. You are, it's very dangerous. They can take decisions themselves and overnight. Exactly. Let me tell you, okay. I should be more. Uh, are you sure? I wasn't. I didn't really want to tell my story. I just wanted the aspect of him taking care of his children out of this thing. When I got married to him, my husband earned just 19000 So running the home was strictly me. Was strictly me. He doesn't know how I, I deliver my kids. He doesn't know my mom. The first um, my mom came to the house, it was my uncle that helped us send my mom home because there was no money in the house. The rent of those houses, those this one thing I'm talking about was God helped us that by December 2020 he got us the job. So when he got the job, I was like, okay, let it be like a, a respite or a relief, so that uh, uh, um, I too can have some some means of savings or we can start saving because then i was earning my job i was earning i started the job with 83,000 from 83 from the 83,000 i paid, was earning like 8,000 yes so what i do i do a job the job i do i collect it in the months that will pay rent so i use it to pay rent then i do a job 50,000 the remaining 33,000 plus 19,000 is what will feed up is from that place too is when i i take him in these eight years i'm telling you now in these eight years the job he could get that was reasonable was the one he got 2020 and that was seven years into the marriage so that you get what it's saying i it wasn't like he can never have point out that there was a day in our marriage that i held him or oh, you must bring money for food or you must bring money for children's feet or you must bring money for for fear. I don't do that. Don't I don't stress him until God blessed him with that job. When he got that job, that was when I said, okay, let us now get, in short, even at that point, I was like, let's get a land. But on, on, his, on our own, if he gets, let me still tell her, thank God, if he gets 100,000 now, he's that kind of person that eats the 100,000 now, and tomorrow we will come and ask you for money. So that was why I said, let the 50,000, the 50,000 I'm talking about here, is not for buying fuel. It's not for paying in the park bill. This 50,000 that I'm talking about is his own as a man. Outside, outside feeding, outside the park bill, outside fuel for his car, outside generator fuel, outside children's school fees. Yes. When we are four, I have four children. I, I them, I'm, I'm my, myself is there. Our nanny is there. I know that he's working there. He was working. I the one that is bringing the money now. The one fifty. That is just it. The fifty thousand is just his own. The fifty thousand is just his own. The fifty thousand covers now. From there now is where we we'll, because from that moment I got married till today, I do our job. My joy is always targeted to worse rates. So from there now, my my salary has never been complete because they will always remove the 50,000 naira contribution that I do for a job. You understand? So the balance I get plus what he gives is what, like I still told you, I had a consigned child. That child, anytime we visit the hospital, we spend nothing less than 50, 70 K on her. So the, our family had not really been balanced for us to have a financial stability first. It was with, now, maybe as of that 2021, 2022, that would have would have seen stability, and now start as a, as a taking of, a, how would I say, savings or something. But as of that time, we we're just managing to stay afloat. Because somehow, somehow, before you know it, in eight years of that marriage, I have four children. 
there was then that marriage was the process of getting pregnant nine months the process of uh, delivering those uh, the children then you start antenatal then i will resume back to work before you know you take a life and him that was doing jobs because i was working and because i'm somebody that i really don't i plan with my salary i plan i plan the way that before we will start floating even if it's a cup of gary we have to eat till the next salary comes that's how we have, have uh, we have run the room like that uh, and then when his job now came when his job came all i told him was okay just from your own now let it be like an a to cushion effect like you have told you why i work i don't want to mention it for security purpose i i don't look that part nobody in my in my compound or our environment knows i do that job because of what all i do all i am went into the home i wanted my children to go to a good school i wanted us to at least have the basics it's not like we had any extra life the basis was what we are just trying to do he pays transport to work i pay transport to work before we remove all those transportation and remove feeding and everything it has come back to us just spending till the next salary comes then what he does that what why what he does then was that he gets a job in two months he resigns from that job when he resigns from the job he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even seek my consent the next time now we are getting ready, I mean, I'm getting ready. I will carry pregnancy and work till the day, a day. I've already booked for my CS. I will still go to work the day to my CS. Because of what? I know once I've started maternity, I know nothing comes into that house again till I deliver. So what I do is that when I'm pregnant, I begin to marshal out some money that will sustain us for the next four months. But I have a husband. He doesn't think those things. There will, there was a pregnancy I had. I was literally begging him not to quit his job. The job he was doing. He was complaining that the boss was saucy, his boss is this, his boss is that. I said, okay, just hold on for me till now. I come back from eternity. When I'm back from eternity, if you want to quit, you can quit. We had that argument to that point. We never came to a compromise. Only for me to wake uh, on January after I thought why he was at home was that that uh, December everything offices shut down to resume back january i was preparing to go to work heavily pregnant i had my son february that's when i even had february would have been january I, then i was believing god to have normal delivery because of financial whatever because i couldn't have him normal my civics are always too small so there's no way i, I, I deliver so in my calculation to get money and everything that baby entered february that January, I was already eight months plus. I still resumed work. Asking him, are you not resumed? Are you not dressing up for work? He said, no. Why? He said he has resigned. Why? And she has told me. I said, well, we agreed. I begged him. I even worried. I said, let's leave this thing till I come back from eternity. Just do it anyhow. Don't get it anyhow. Let me come out from eternity so that me too, I can bounce back and start puzzling. In the course of the job, I God knows everything and anything. I have done agent work. There's nothing I don't do to make sure there's food in the house. But him on his part, he doesn't have, he doesn't have food. He doesn't have. That's his statement. He doesn't have. So that was when I, he got that 200,000 naira job. That is the essence. Because you don't, you don't, you don't. You don't crucify somebody before you get. That was the reason why I said, you use 50,000 errors on your call as a man. Enjoy. Keep us the 150. From the 150, we plan for rent. We plan for school fees. We plan for other things. Even to the feeding the feeds. To the utilities. To never build. To fuel in his car. When he's going to work, he can take 5,000 errors to go to work. It's from that 150 he brings. The 150 was not just for me. It's not when he left the house. It was while he was still in the house. Use 50,000 naira for yourself. Ask him if I remove 1,000 naira for myself. I did not. I have never had my money since I, I got married to him. I have never. I don't have my money. Before everything, before I could even think of me having a cloth or anything, I think of my children, especially my third child. I think of hospital bills. Keep our money for hospital bills first. If I think of any other things. You don't need to 
can ask you a question. Just to look at the people how the mindset, the lifestyle of man. Briefly, how can you describe it? So that you can know why you want to just leave the house. The truth about it is that it was my mistake because even before I got married to him, there were signals I saw in of his irresponsibilities. And I for one, I don't I don't I don't know how to pretend or keep something that hurts me. While we're dating, I've already gotten the job I was I, I'm doing presently. So I was waiting for the training. So while waiting for the training, I have to resign my bank job. So he told me to go and do hair. He didn't even ask how much is the hair or okay, I buy buy food and give you anything. He didn't do that. So after I finished my hair, I was like, what kind of a guy is this? So a second scenario, I was traveling back to Abuja then. And now we went to Delta Line, it was filled up. You know, your babe came to see you. Though even if my parents stays in Delta then, Asaba, I came to at least my coming to Asaba, I saw you. On my going back, I expected you to like, okay, even if it's 1,000, 2,000, as to your transport. He didn't do that. When he took me to Delta Line, it was filled up. So we had to go to another uh, uh, transport line. I would go there. It was almost 50% uh, more than the one Delta Line price. And he still didn't even shake body. So my way to, as I was, as I boarded the bus, that was when I sent him a chat. I said, I, I grew up in a home that we were comfortable. We were very comfortable. So we don't know how to ask. So I sent him a message. I said, in as much I've never asked you, a man that has a, a girlfriend should know that he, he has to be financially responsible for that relationship too. So since you are not financially responsible to me, waiting for me to ask, I won't ask, but I can't continue. So that was before we got married, and that was how I deleted his number and blocked him. So he went back through my mom and begged and begged that he didn't want to entice me with money, blah, 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 and begged that it wasn't like he didn't know, but he just didn't want to entice me. You know, at the end of the day, I was convinced, and I came back. But to be honest with you, that red flag was what I would have seen. Because the truth about it is that responsibility doesn't matter to him right. you don't it has never mattered to him i mean that your mother-in-law comes to do a mungo in your house every responsible man that has pride and shame would rally round to go and look for even if it's five thousand to give to your mother-in-law to go home my husband has never done it in four children when i had my first baby I didn't know it was going to be a CS. So the private hospital told me 35K. I kept 50,000. At the end of, after three days labor, I couldn't deliver. So they now booked me for CS. I couldn't do CS because I knew all I had was 50,000. At the end of the day, I had to call my mom's younger brother. So it was him that now, because it was them that recommended the hospital to us. So it was him that told the doctor to go ahead with CS. So when he went ahead with the CS, at the end of the day, that was eight years ago, 2014. The man, the uh, the doctor took 150,000 from us. My uncle helped me, helped us with 50,000. I brought out my own 50,000. My husband, I spent seven days in the hospital recuperating after CS. After CS, he did not, he did not in seven days look for the balance of 50,000. Not from family, not from friends. Not from any angle. He was waiting. Yeah, I was like, "What? How do we do it?" Ah, no get though. At the end of the day, I have to uh, sign on that taking with the doctor that I will come with my next month salary to offset the the bill, and that was how they allowed us to do. So it has been like that. The, the common thing that the man is more responsible. That has been it. That has been it. Okay, presently now he bought a house in Asaba. 
and you are showing your daughter house, you are showing her everything. You've not asked if they go to school, you've not asked if they feed, you've not even asked how the third girl is, if she if she can speak now. Before he left the house, my daughter could not speak. He doesn't even know if that girl is talking now or not. Okay. I see, yeah. have issues or she was still living there. No, she has she's called a concern. Okay, she the one that is concerned. Yes, the daughter. What is she doing now? She's better. She can't speak little words now yes well at times because we want to marry what we actually see the red flag of the man or the woman there's only this feelings as a uh, we will change the person, the person will change and all that. When you let man understand that you are strong enough to bear or to take the responsibility, the burden of the house, you eventually make the person lazy and often show less concern about his or her responsibility. Mostly when you pick all the views and you feel, oh, I've done that, and you stay over. The next month, you do the same thing. You move another one month, two months, you continue that way. The person, the man will always be made. If you can survive for one month, two months, three months, four months, then there's nothing bad. There's no way you cannot keep surviving. Forgetting that it could be that you are trying to assist at that point in time. Because you got no job, or because the final the resources was just little, and you were earning much, and you decided to uh, take uh, the upper uh, body, not because you want to be controlling, or because you you have more than me, or you wish you not to have so that you can be the head of the house. But once you see a sign, when you are caught, you will always know a stranger person. Either you choose to marry the person and you begin to keep your resources off from the person by not telling the person your your total income, this is what I because he is a stranger person and he will not be willing to part away with reasonable amounts that can give a proper upkeep of the family. Either you choose to start keeping saving much for your side while you bring little out because you know time will come that this cannot continue you cannot hear it when the body of the responsibility is multiplying children are coming from grammar is nursery to secondary secondary to university and it has not been given you may not expect that they will give when the demand is higher so that is when you started planning uh, because you are giving you are saving more and you got to realize are you sleeping One. Then secondly, I think we need to read the answer. If he had been less concerned all this while, I wonder if he will stay with or will see anything bad about his behavior. Some are comfortable, they can dress well, they can cut their hair, they can do every other thing, but anything that has to do with home responsibility, their family responsibility, they have make it in, as if it's a different body for what they are doing. Then for the part, if he is he's not also the kind of person that does such and we have been compared to be spending that much. He will see it as if you are killing him. He will see it as if you are comparing him to, to commit a, to commit atrocity. He will see it as a taboo. Why was that spending this much? He may not have complained to you. He may not have come up to tell you this is what I'm feeling. 
do it here. He must have masterminded everything, concluded on what to say, what to do, and at one point, even saving or planning with somebody else, I'm going to move, he's going to move out of the marriage and everything. And one thing some ladies or men don't understand, you might see your present spouse as a bad person. Because you are discussing that person excess with a relationship you are keeping outside, or a friend of yours, a male or female that you are keeping outside, then the person will capitalize, taking advantage of that and decided to grow the person of his or her relationship. So who knows where he is now? If he has moved on with his life, with the relationship, or he has been doing that secretly and promised the person to move out of him. So all that, but nevertheless, we will see good effort to get in order to, to get across to him and also hear from him um, before we draw the final conclusion. So you don't need to be worried, you don't need to I believe before he started supporting or showing of sight, God has been providing for him. And he can lead him to have all the streets to supervise the resources, finding where uh, this matter is resolved and to take responsibility of his kids. That way you don't need to beg him. It's my duty. Yes. You don't need to beg any man to take responsibility of his children. And start to don't know where he's living. Yes, it's an offense, and no matter wherever he's living, he can't have children and abandon the children. They are not my kids. They are his kids, and it is full responsibility to take care of his kids. So he cannot for any reason abandon the kids. So that is what we want to do. That's my Thank you. All right, so viewers, we'll be back in a moment. Thank you.